Hey folks, nice to have you join me here today. Uh, what we're doing here is you've caught me right in the middle of a little water electrolysis. Uh, what we've done is we've hooked up a little bit of direct current to this little apparatus. I believe it's called Hoffman's here. Now, what you'll notice is in a moment, we'll zoom in and I'll place just above me a zoomed in version of it, is hydrogen and oxygen gas being produced at their respective electrodes. Now our goal is to find out where they're produced. Is hydrogen produced at the positive or negative? At the cathode or anode? And vice versa. So remember the two water equations. In the solution we have water, H2O, water only. Now remember we're having the reduction of water and the oxidation of water. Now the reduction of water produces hydrogen gas. Hydrogen gas is produced at the cathode where reduction occurs. Oxygen gas is produced at the anode where oxidation takes place. Now you'll remember that an electrochemical cell produces its own voltage. In electrolysis, because the oxidation reaction is higher than the reduction reaction, we need to add a direct current. So we add voltage, thereby producing hydrogen and oxygen gas. That is pretty awesome. We're actually splitting up water into hydrogen and oxygen. Now you'll notice when I zoom in here on the electrode producing hydrogen, and the electrode producing oxygen, one of the electrodes has twice as many bubbles. Why? Can you guess why? Okay, well if you've guessed that there's twice as much hydrogen, you're correct. Why? Well, look at the formula of water, H2O. For every molecule of water that breaks down, two molecules of hydrogen produced, one molecule of oxygen, or a two to one ratio, and you can see the difference in bubbles being produced. That's awesome. 